Hi kitty cats, I'm filming this video in New York where I'm consulting this week on a criminal case against a transgender man. I'm not going to discuss details of that case until a verdict has been reached, but a fascinating parallel emerged while talking about this situation. I was reminded very strongly of the state of Tennessee versus John Thomas Scopes. You might remember that is the Scopes monkey trial. The Scopes monkey trial took place in 1925 after the Butler Act prohibited teaching about evolution in Tennessee public schools. It was originally only intended as a publicity stunt to drive tourism to Dayton, Tennessee, but it ended up capturing national attention for pitting religion against science in the courtroom. At the time, the theory of evolution was still kind of new and largely misunderstood by the general public, but it threatened the idea that humans were special that we were designed, created, and stand outside the rest of nature. Now next year, 2025, marks the 100th anniversary of the Scopes trial, and it appears gender-affirming care has taken the place of evolution in religious attacks. There is plenty of science to indicate the reasoning behind and efficacy of gender-affirming care. And like evolution 100 years ago, much of that is misunderstood by the general public. Religious leaders want to divorce humanity from being subject to natural forces, including climate change, evolution, and now the expression of gender. John Thomas Scopes was found guilty and fined for teaching about evolution in a public school. And today we see history repeating itself as teachers are removed from their jobs for teaching sex and gender are distinct as biology defines the terms. But this is not a publicity stunt. We are in danger of falling into yet another situation in which religion wins over truth. I have much more to say and to write about this criminal case and what it represents to the transgender community. But for now, I am chilled by the idea that 100 years of progress and science can be undone by people unqualified to discuss it. Talk soon. Bye.